In this video, we're going to go over Django admin actions. The great thing about Django is the admin that it comes built in and allows us to do some quick data manipulation when we need to take care of that. However, most of the time we deal with data from an individual level, but sometimes we need to do things in bulk. In this case, we can actually use what's called Django admin actions so that we can select a bunch of and manipulate those accordingly. In this video, I'll show you how to create your own admin actions and use the existing one that's there already. If we'll first start out and run our server, and we'll go ahead and look in our admin, we see we have a to-dos app with a tasks model. If we'll go in there, we see we have task items. We can add more tasks. We just do normally, just add a title and a description. And when we add one, it says, hey, this task was added. Add another one just for more data, and you can see now that we have four items added. Currently, to edit things, we need to go in there and mark completed uh, one at a time and save the item so that we can actually see that it's completed. So say we want to delete an item in bulk, we would check the checkbox on the side, go up to our action drop down, and click delete selected tasks, and you see it offers a prompt that we're sure we want to delete. So the question is, how do we create those ourselves? First thing that we need to do is open up our, our admin file in our to-dos app. And you see we have our task admin class that we've already created. The easiest thing to do with creating an admin action is to create a new function. In this case, we'll create an all tasks function. And the first parameter that we're going to pass in is the model admin. The next one is the request for the request object. And finally, we have the query set. This query set is going to be the query set of all of the items in our admin that we selected on the side with checkboxes. So to kind of show that working, what we're going to do is we're going to do a for QS in query set. And we're just going to print the title of each of our tasks to our console. And then from there, we add a new property to our task admin class called actions and give it the name of our function that we defined above. So with that, let's go ahead and look at it in our browser. And if, you'll, if we'll refresh the page, we'll see we have the all tasks admin action in our dropdown. If we just go ahead and select it and click a button, we get a warning that it didn't work. We need to select items. If we'll select all the items and run it again, You'll see something happened because it refreshed, but nothing happened on the page. If we we'll open up our console, you'll see we have the titles of our tasks have been printed out to the console. The next thing to do is let's go ahead and create some actually useful actions. And we can do that by creating a new function called complete tasks. And we'll do our normal properties that we did above. And this time we're actually going to take advantage of the fact that we're using a query set. So we're just going to update all of our completed properties to true in one go. So now that when we use this query action, it's just going to mark them all as complete. And we don't necessarily have to iterate through each of the objects and set the data and save it. Another little extra feature with using Python is we have some dynamic stuff that we can do to our complete tasks and we can add a short description so we can change the actual title of our action in our admin. In this case, we're gonna name it mark as complete. Since it's just this simple, we're gonna, I'm gonna go ahead and just add in the inverse of this so we can mark tasks as not complete. Finally, we go down to our actions property and add our new functions to our list and we should be good to go. Open this back up in our browser and We'll select a couple items and hit our drop down and see we have mark as complete and mark as not complete. If we select it and hit go, then it marks those two items as complete. If we select two more items, mark as not complete and hit the button, it marks those as not complete as well. And then we can also see that our delete still works if we select everything and do delete selected tasks. And that's really it. That's really all there is to being able to do our bulk admin actions. This makes dealing with a lot of data a lot quicker in the admin.